Toy Story is an iconic Disney Pixar film about toy cowboy Woody and the jealousy he develops when a new toy arrives. Toy Story sets the motif of jealousy early in the film. When Andy's birthday party unexpectedly rolls around, all of the toys are instantly panicked by the idea of getting replaced by new toy presents for Andy. Woody, who everyone recognizes as Andy's favorite, of course Woody ain't worried. He's been Andy's favorite since kindergarten. Is not at all worried or threatened by the idea of any new toys joining the collection. He has trust in a spot in Andy's heart. Things take a sharp turn as soon as Andy unwraps his new Buzz Lightyear toy and moves Woody aside. Woody's jealousy is immediately evident when everyone crowds around Buzz and is impressed by all of his gadgets. Woody starts to diminish all of Buzz's features, insisting to all of the other toys that Buzz's laser is just a small light bulb and that his wings can't actually make him fly. These are plastic. As lovable as Woody is, jealousy isn't a good look on anyone. And what this film starts to do is show viewers that tearing someone else down isn't going to make you look better to others. Andy starts to favor Buzz when playing with his toys and the cowboy decor in his room are replaced by Buzz Lightyear decor. Woody's ego then takes a hit, and he reacts maliciously. And here's the thing about letting your jealousy get the better of you. Not only does it lead you to have an uneasy heart of mind, it reflects on you. That's why, when Buzz gets knocked out of the window, the other toys are quick to blame Woody. They recognize that he was jealous of Buzz and likely wanted him gone. And people's negative perception and skepticism of you doesn't end there. If people see that a damaged ego and jealousy leads you to wish the worst for others, they're naturally going to connect that that same thought process would extend to them if they were ever in a superior position. Well, what if Andy starts playing with me more, Woody, huh? You're gonna knock me out of the window too? Your friends will then lose trust in you. Everyone wants friends who will be happy for their success, not upset by it. Woody spends the majority of the film ruled by his jealousy, but despite him mainly exhibiting a negative characteristic, Woody is still a beloved character. How does this story manage to showcase a very flawed character as likable? This is where clever storytelling and a great understanding of human emotion comes into play. We all act unfairly and wrongly sometimes, but life is about how we evolve. Fast forward in the film and Buzz's ego is also bruised when he discovers that he's just a toy, not a space ranger as he thought. He turns sad and hopeless as he loses his sense of purpose in life. I can't help. In a heartfelt conversation between Buzz and Woody, both of the characters speak with sensitivity. You are his toy! But why would Andy want me? Buzz feels useless, and his vulnerability allows Woody to feel comfortable enough to drop his own guard and recognize that he'd merely been acting out of insecurity. I mean, what chance does a toy like me have against a Buzz Lightyear action figure? All I can do is... He feels inferior to Buzz, and lets him know that. It's this open communication which bonds Woody and Buzz together, and they start working together as genuine friends. This film demonstrates that though we may be focused on our own insecurities and self-hatred, everyone around us also experiences the same feelings. Those we measure ourselves to are fighting their own demons and comparing themselves to someone else. I think when we really boil down our expressions of resentment and annoyance towards others, it usually has to do more with our own jealousy than the other person. We get hung up on what other people have or how they're favorably perceived and we compare ourselves to that. If we recognize that our own insecurity is entirely internal, it makes it easier to stop holding that against people. Jealousy is a completely natural emotion, especially when it's accompanied by a bruised ego. But we mustn't let it take a stronghold of our actions and outward emotions. Having a self-pity party can be understandable to a certain degree for a brief moment, but character assassination or trying to sabotage someone else or their reputation will not make you look better to others. It also won't give you what they have and it won't change how you view yourself deep down. Rewatch Toy Story and you'll surely come across lots of funny moments and meaningful lessons which you may have not fully appreciated before.